Welcome or welcome back on I need help at C square. In this example here, we're gonna, we're gonna find the center of dilation in the scale factor for uh, this dilation, right? We have a, a large rectangle ABCD and then we shrink it, we make it smaller and get A prime, B prime, C prime. Uh, the scale factor is very easy. We're gonna count a little bit. One, two, that is what B prime, C prime is. MBC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. MBC is 6. So, uh, how do we go from 6 to 2? Uh, we have two choices. Divide by 3. Well, we prefer to say multiplying by 1 third. Why multiplying by 1 third? Because that is the scale factor. The scale factor is 1 third, which makes sense. This is a reduction. You go from a large rectangle to a small one. Okay, what about the um, center of dilation? So, uh, let's take a look. I'm going to bring some paper, graph paper here, and I'm going to take two points. Let's say I'm going to take point uh, C prime and C. Uh, so 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is C prime. And uh, point uh, C, right, which is 8 and 7, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7. So one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, right here. So this is C prime and this is C. Yeah, draw a line to these two points. And let's take another one. B prime, B and B prime, right? B prime is uh, 4 and 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, somewhere here, and B, it's 8 and 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 1, and let's draw a line. Okay. This point here, which for me it's kind of crooked because I don't have the right tools, it's the center of dilation. In fact, let's take a look to a better picture right here, right? You see it, I used A and D. It is the same story. If you if you notice, if we use a straight edge, a ruler, uh, you get that intersection. So the scale factor is two. I'm sorry, is one third. It's a reduction, and the center of dilation. I call it F, would be two and four. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back at C squared for more help. Thank you.